All right, hey everybody, this is John from Great Lakes Preppers. Uh, it seems like you guys have been asking for some shorter videos, so I'm gonna try and keep this real short, especially since I'm still a little under the weather, as you can probably hear. Um, I'm pretty hoarse. Um, in front of you, I have my uh, EDC, I guess you could call it flashlight. Um, on our channel, we've been reviewing some, some uh, flashlights that kind of run the gambit of things. Uh, this, I think, is an older Pelican 2360 flashlight. It runs off two AA batteries. It has a 90 lumen uh, range. And it says it's rated for about two hours runtime. Um, personally, I, I've used this flashlight quite a bit. Um, let me let me tell you the things I like about it. It's simple. Um, it's a simple on. Um, once you click it, you can click it off and click it again, and it's a lower light uh, output, and that that'll give you a little bit more runtime. Um, some of the flashlights that we've been reviewing, uh, they'll have adjustable range up here, uh, clips, things like that. I like this flashlight because it's simple. I can throw it in my pocket and uh, not have to worry about it. I know it's always there. I know it's not going to get crushed. I don't care if it gets scratched or anything. Uh, the lens cap, as you can see, the lens is in almost perfect condition, which is surprising because I carry it in my pocket quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> this flashlight, uh, I'm, I've been looking around to buy another one. I can't find them in exactly this configuration. Um, it seems like Pelican might have updated their uh, uh, line, uh, which is fine. Uh, the new one, it looks like, comes with just a uh, clip in this area. Um, but they can be bought uh, for under $40 usually, which I think is a great deal. Um, if you want to go out and buy one of these, I would highly recommend it. Uh, this thing has been money very well spent for me uh, nothing has broken on this um, the only bad thing is uh, it doesn't have a strobe feature it looks like the updated version does have that so if that's something that you're looking for there you go you can't adjust the the beam it's it's fixed I look at that as kind of a positive um, I don't have to mess with it um, I haven't ran into an issue yet where I need to adjust it though. Um, but the thing that I like the best is that it runs off two AA batteries. Uh, I'm, I don't typically, typically I think I have one, one light that runs off lithium batteries. Otherwise everything else is AA batteries, which, um, they, if you like lithium batteries, that's great. Uh, just remember that you have to stock just as much AA batteries as you do lithium batteries or the type of batteries that most of your gear runs on. Um, I've kind of gone on the AA's, which I just stock up on. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this video up. I just wanted to show you guys this. This, is a, this has been a test that's three, three and a half years in the making on this flashlight. Um, as you can see, it's held up pretty well. Um, but, yeah, this has been John from Great Lakes Preppers, and uh, I would recommend you go out and buy a Pelican 2360. Thank you.